Hey Canucks fans, and welcome to the special edition of Clay's Canucks Commentary. I came out of a work meeting at 4.30 today, and my phone blew up with texts and messages and notifications telling me that the Canucks had traded Hunter Shankarik to the Calgary Flames for Marcus Granlund. The immediate reaction on Twitter wasn't so great, with many Canucks fans questioning the move and questioning Jim Benning's intelligence. Let's take a quick look at these two players. Hunter Shankarik was drafted by the Vancouver Canucks late in the first round, 24th overall in the 2013 NHL Entry Draft. After getting drafted, he had one injury plagued season with the Medicine Hat Tigers of the WHL, scoring 16 points in 18 games. The next year, with the Utica Comets in the AHL, he scored 31 points in 74 games. And this year with Utica, he's had a great season, scoring 39 points in 45 games. He's also played one game with the Vancouver Canucks this year. Marcus Granlin was drafted in the second round, 45th overall by the Calgary Flames in the 2011 NHL entry draft. After getting drafted, he played for two years in Helsinki. In the past three seasons, he's split time between the AHL and the NHL. In the AHL, he's almost a point per game player. And in the NHL, he's had 28 points in 86 games, all with the Calgary Flames. So why are many Canucks fans up in arms over this trade? Well, they see Marcus Granlin as maybe a third line player at best in the NHL. While Hunter Shankara could be a top six forward with his ability to score goals, Admittedly, the Canucks could use a lot more players like that. So given all this, I'm actually going to suggest three reasons as to why the Canucks made this trade. Number one, pro potential. Granlin has already shown that he can play in the NHL. Sure, 28 points in 86 games isn't going to light the world on fire, but that is one point for every three games. The 22-year-old Granlin can play both center and left wing, and he's proven that he can take a regular shift in the NHL. Hunter Shankarik is 21. And while he does have the potential to score goals in the NHL, there's also the chance that he's not going to do well in the pros. There's no guarantee that he's going to be able to put up a point for every three games like Granlin has. And obviously there are some flaws in his game that Canucks management saw. Number two, asset management. The Canucks obviously sold high with Shankarik. He's been having a great season with the Utica Comets in the AHL, and the Canucks management believes that Shankarik is peaking now, that his stock is at the highest it's going to be, then it makes sense to move him right now and in return the Canucks got a bona fide NHL player. Number three, I truly believe that the Canucks are not done wheeling and dealing. We're still a week away from the trade deadline and the Canucks now have seven centers on their roster. Henrik Sedin, Brandon Sutter, Bo Horvat, Jared McCann, Lyndon Vey, Adam Cracknell, and now Marcus Granlin. Obviously something has got to give and perhaps, just perhaps, Granlin, or God forbid Horvat or McCann, will be part of another package, another deal that Benning makes before the trade deadline. Let's get your reaction to the Shankarik for Gramlin trade in trade in a word. Why? Confusing. Stoned. As Chronic Canuck said, cause Jim had to be high. Questionable. Who? Confusing. I can't. It's a swear word. Bullocks. Imbecilic. Mm. What? Gillis. Meh. Poop. Dinka shink. Not sure what that means. Dissatisfactory. Confused. What you talking about, Willis? Wise broad. Mm. Approve. Wow, that's the first positive one. Speculative. Preposterous. Well, there you have it, Canucks fans. You can see that the reaction is heavily slanted in one direction. But as with any trade, it's gonna take a few years before we can properly evaluate it from both sides. But it sure is fun to do it right now. I invite you to follow me on Twitter at Canuck Clay and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and God bless. Go Canucks Go!